what is up guys we're going into game number three on frisian marshes don already spawning over in the south side as the french Cyark spawning over in the west side as the Roos, and it's gonna be a, a little bit of a predicament here for Cyark. He needs to go ahead and attempt to get this game to start his chance at a reverse sweep. And going with a different build order than we would typically see, usually it's four on the food and two on the hunting cabin, but Cyark's wanting to get this down very, very fast, make sure to get that next scout out, and doesn't get the second scout out of his initial town center, so saving up himself that extra villager. Frisian Marshes obviously is a map that has a significant amount of sheep, a significant amount of bounty. And do we see Don already going for a single... Uh, no, it's a double scout opening. Sends his scout to the opposite side, starting to take down some of the deer on the opposite side. Whereas a lot of times what you'll see players do is just get as much of these sheep as possible. Even though the deer are a main bounty source, just have the wolves trail and have uh, get a bunch of those sheep. But Don already has 11 behind that scout and trailing 7 with the other one. So really good job. Counters out the main deer camp from Cyark as well on the opposite side. No, has spotted out both of the deer. What up, Road? I spotted out both of the deer, so doing a good job as far as counterbounding, but it's going to be hard to deny that original 250 from coming out that we always are, are going to all kind of see Roos get on this map. Third scout comes out. Cyark starting to finally get some bounty up that isn't just sheep. Th Problem for uh, for Cyark right now with these three wolves trailing him is Don can actually pull his second scout and start attacking these as they go back and make this a little bit of a micro war. Exactly what Don decides to do. Will he be able to get his second scout over there? Has a couple wolves trailing his as well. And let's see if Cyark notices up Don doing this little bit of a uh, little bit of aggression on the wolves. Don has that typical balance of uh, 803, 804, whatever it may be, and Cyark sending everything onto the food. The early hunting cabin, the extra bills on top of that were just to get that second scout out as fast as possible. Don brings his second scout over, as I was mentioning, is going to be able to start taking down all of the wolves on this side. So a huge job to counter out this bounty. Cyark's able to pull down his third scout back to be able to uh, counter out this from the opposite side. But think about what this does. He just had to pull all three scouts to secure the last two wolves. Whereas Don still has two wolves trailing himself. So we're going to swap over to Cyark's side. He actually only has 150 bounty. Finds that next deer camp though. And there is an additional one that he has not been able to find yet that could end up securing. So can get that max. Oh, that's, that's Don. That's Don. That's not Cyark. So Cyark so can potentially find this last deer camp and get up to that 250 bounty. He's already grabbed... He's already grabbed wheelbarrow. He needs to find bounty. He needs to find gold. Needs to drop off sheep at home as he does not have theirs enough to drop the wooden, uh, the um, golden gate. So coming down a little bit late as Don already is already halfway up on the way to the school of Calvary. So Don looking really good as far as the start this game. I said it might be hard to, ca uh, to stop that 250, which he didn't stop the 250 because all these sheep but he did stop that 250 from coming out early and Cyark had already queued up wheelbarrow so delayed up his own feudal age this could be the opportunity for don to get his foothold get his uh leg up and start snowballing this game with the school of calvary coming out and finishing before the golden gate does barracks immediately being dropped by Cyark. Don spots out the Golden Gate on its way up and might be uh, feeling a little bit happy about himself. Looks like he might be going for a little bit of a 2TC build. It is what he is opting for. 
So sending uh, those Vils out, doing uh, still going to get a little bit of aggression, send that Knight out. But the problem for Cyarch is he is going to have that 2TC significantly later. He will have one ticket immediately that he can get stone for if he, if he desires, but will need to wait another minute for the next ticket. And has already spent some wood onto a barracks instead of a wooden uh, fortress to give himself some extra wood gathering early on. Gold being taken by Cyarch. Don't know if this is going to be to trade in the next ticket or if he's actually going to utilize this gold in the long term and try to go up to Castle Age. Would be pretty, uh, pretty heavy onto the wood for that regards. First knight comes out, stone being taken. So Don isn't too far away of getting his second town center dropped. I'd expect it to go right down in between some of this shoreline fish, maybe even protecting up the gold as well. Don Scout, perfect position, spots out that gold. Proactive wall going down from Cyark. So defense is coming down from Cyark, yet he doesn't even have... Uh, yet he's the one that's going to end up falling behind an eco because Don's going to have uh, a second TC sooner than later. Oh, Don, Don. Vil, bro. No! He loses a Vil. A little bit of Scout harass. Don loses a Vil, so... Uh, isn't able to have this perfectly clean build as there is a nice green body on the ground that we see don reacts by sending a knight and says i will get my revenge for those villagers they are precious to me original knight hasn't been able to do too much damage but what it has done is force out spearmen and this delays anything that cyart can do as far as snowballing the eco has the tickets to potentially uh buy stone if he wants to go with his own second second tc but don's already moving out for his not even to mention don has some military out that's nice and scary and will be able to produce villagers faster Sire trades in double ticket. He is going to go for his second TC himself as well. The gold was just to trade the tickets. He knew he didn't have gold from the bounty to do that. Three villagers going on, dropping that TC in the middle of those shoreline fish, just how Don Artie is. But Don's going to finish a lot faster with 10 villagers building it compared to three. Scouts and Knights trying to get harassment on each other, ha harassment on each other, trying to deny some of that vision because if vision gets denied, this is really where you can start giving yourself the leg up. Second TC is already finished. It's 27 and 10 for Cyarch. It's 26 and 4 for Don. The scouts have not been able to be denied, but haven't been able to get that valuable information that they need yet, as they haven't been near Don Artie's base in a while. Double archery range drop. <clears throat> Thanks for the follow, Incog. And Don moving back over to the gold a little bit, looking like he's going to go with the uh, the typical knight archers, but coming off of the 2TC spam. And so how will this match up against Cyarch's massive spearmen? Well, Don obviously is going to start massing up those archers himself. So what will be the decision from Cyarch? <gasps> Knights coming in, tried to do some damage onto the second town center, but weren't able to do so. Just caused a little bit of idle time. Knights able to get out nice and healthy still at over half health. Thanks for the follow, Sans. So I think Don's still sitting pretty happy right now. cyrix has got a significant amount of wood. Needs to probably drop some more production buildings, but instead is dropping a protective wall for himself and a stables in the backside. 700 wood floating though what is this going to be used for it's a third tc trades in two of his tickets is grabbing up a third tc is don going to be able to spot this though we're going to go back to to don's point of view the wall on the opposite side is going to make it hard for don to spot out this third tc and Cyart going with a massive macro boom behind this and could just pay off if he gets enough time but don's starting to be aggressive already has the blacksmith already starting to mess up those archers and knights do get through deny the wall from fully going down but don has still not spotted out the third tc it's hard to scout this either because notice Cyark has hasn't had to take any stone, just traded in the tickets for those TCs. 
Third, uh, second stable's being dropped, so just barracks double stables to counteract the double range that's on the opposite side. In my opinion, I think Don's going to need to trink... Tr wow. To, uh, to sprinkle in some spearmen into this mix to protect up his archer mass from the early knights or horsemen that are going to come out from the opposite side. Archery range. Oh, it's double archery range as well as another uh, as a as a blacksmith on the opposite side. Three TC is going to start booming up, but where will he get food after he runs out at home? It will be quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of a an investment for three TCs to pay off uh, to get all that food production. So you'll start eating up these berries quite quick. The sheep at home are starting to run a little bit lower. Don. Starting to eat up some of those shoreline fish will most likely move to the next, but he's the one being the aggressor. The 3TC is the one that has to get more of the timing to pay off. It's going to be harder for him to move out. And Don's army is on top of a secondary berries and on top of a secondary deer. Scout moves forward for Don. Oh! Is, he was trying to get vision of the other side, but still hasn't been able to scout out any sort of military buildings but more importantly, hasn't been able to scout out the third TC that's been dropped. Oh, okay. It's 49 and 22 for Don. It's 51 and 22 for Cyark. So not too big of a Vil count lead, but the longer this goes, the bigger this will end up paying off. Don's still sitting only on the double range and his stables, but massing up nice and fat. Whereas on the opposite side, there's no early knights that have come out. It's just the spearmen, horsemen, with archers starting to trinkle into the mix, sprinkle into the mix. Triple stables, double range. All right, the big thing is going to be once these resources, mainly I would say the food resources, start running low for Cyark, where is he going to go and how is he going to secure up that next resource? Don's already trying to secure up his positioning with an outpost as well. Sends a few over to the stone to get those upgrades for the outpost, I would assume. Has yet to drop his next production building, starting to float a little bit of food and wondering what he's going to use that food for. Barracks goes down, so Spearman is what he's going to start using that food for. Scouts out the massive horseman that's about to circle on around, so we'll have a quick reaction to that by pulling his knights ready and forward. Spears and archers look like they're about to start making a move here in a second as the horsemen were trying to do some raiding but have gotten denied. Outpost has finished for Don Artie. He gets a little bit more vision, can spot the military coming out on the, on the opposite side, knows exactly what he has to face up against, and knows what he needs to do. Falls back towards his outpost. Probably needs to wait until some more of these, uh, some more of his spearmen actually get into the mix as he just now got his barracks. Doesn't even have the spearmen upgrade yet. Archer's trying to snipe down the spearmen on the opposite side. <gasps> Huge surround by Cyark! Is able to get a ton of damage on top of these archers. This is the problem that I always see the French have is once you get that archer mass, the horsemen can end up chasing down the archers and forcing the archers to fight. Knights aren't able to defend them up because of the s amount of spearmen that are on top, but Don doing a great job just sniping down the spearmen. So yes, the archers may have died, but the important part for him is that he has made the spearmen mass low on the opposite side. Outpost burned down, huge villager pull by Cyark, and an even bigger villager pull on the opposite side as how as he has run out of food. So right as he runs out of food, he makes the breakout and starting to pressure down Don Vico. Don needs to start falling back. Really, really good fight by Cyark, but Don looks like he might just be able to hold. Needs to start getting more of a mass. Doesn't quite have the amount of production buildings that Cyark has. And Cyark's dropping even more production buildings. He, like I said, the third TC has now started to pay off. 78 villagers versus 67. Military lead starting to favor Cyark as well in a significant amount as he has more than double the military. Should start being able to, to uh, force damage out on the eco. 
that was the exact perfect timing for Cyark to push out. It was starting to run out of food and he knew it. He had the bigger military. Don was making the transition to get some spears, but just was a little bit slow on that transition. Needed more production buildings down. As you see, he still has some food, still has some gold into the bank. Koinu is investing in his defenses as well with double wooden fortresses and a wooden fortress in the middle. Finishes up his walls on the front side. So the three TCs are safe and secure behind the walls. The only way Don can get in is either burning through or running all the way around. Don looking like he's getting close to going castle. So is he going to choose to just go up to castle age after losing this massive, uh, the fight? I think it wouldn't be the worst idea with that many Royal Knights. You can just get the Royal bloodlines upgrade and they just become so strong. So tanky. He just needs to make sure to do this very, very carefully as Cyark has a huge, massive military, 60 military units compared to 29. Don is up 2-0 right now. This is game number three. Don going up with the Royal Institute, just how I had mentioned, right in between all of these outposts that he has built on up. So trying to get some defenses, trying to get some security for himself. Sark playing a little passively, looking like he is going to try to go up to Castle Age as well. Can trade in a couple tickets for wood and start dropping his abbey at the same exact time, uh, basically, that Don should be finishing up his Royal Institute. Ram being dropped by these archers in the front. They're doing the little ram dance. You check the circle. This is the ram dance. Only one ram being dropped. Would expect to see another one or two come down as Cyark typically loves to drop two to three to four to five rams at one time that I've seen him do. Don spots out the pressure coming through. Royal Institute almost finishing up. He knows he just needs to fall back. Wait for some of these castle upgrades to come through. Needs to move back heavy onto the... Where's he moving back to gold? There we go. Moving back heavy onto the gold. So he's castle age, but castle age with what resources in the bank? Well, enough for royal bloodlines, enough for veteran royal knights. That's the only upgrade that he really is focusing on that he really thinks he needs. Heavy onto the stone as well. So wondering if this is going to be sprinkled in placements or an attempt to keep it sprinkled in placements is the choice. Knights take a fight a little bit earlier than I expected. The royal bloodline still needs another minute to come through and he loses multiple knights before royal bloodlines upgrade comes through. And is still taking the fight. Needs to fall back here. I guess he can try to thin out some of the spears with his archers. He's under the outpost right now. Ram moving on up. Royal Bloodline still 42 seconds away. But looking like a pretty decent fight as the veteran Royal Knights have cleared out all of the spearmen. They're on top of the archers. Cyarch's Castle Age comes through himself. But he has started to lose his front and forward military mass. Royal Bloodline still 25 seconds away. Don already has 11 or so Royal Knights, has some uh, minute arms as well, trying to move forward and clearing up the mass from Sayar. Sayar trickling units in. Went up with the Abbey, should start trying to get some of those relics secured on the map, but the problem is the first relic he's going for is one that Don has a bunch of knights right on top of, and Don should continue to press his advantage. He just won a huge military fight, completely cleared 60 military units out of Cyark, down to 21. It's 108 versus 87, so it's a 20 villager count lead for Cyark. It's a little bit of a struggle, but he needs to transition that villager count lead into more and more of a military now that he has lost all of his 29 villagers on top of the stone don moving forward with a significant amount of villagers again looks like he wants to drop a forward keep as he has just killed a ton of the military <laughs> there you go cal keep going down as i had mentioned front and forward on top of some of those production buildings Military for Cyark looking like they're going to go in, try to stop this. But in reality, I think they're just going to get more and more of the military units wiped. Don again doing the exact same thing he did in the original game. Forward keep, drop a siege workshop behind this. Now you can start raining down fire upon the infrastructure. Cyark has moved 
far far out into this pocket eco but it has been investing into wooden fortresses so it's not like this is easy to raid but this is quite a, a bit of an investment as each of those wooden fortresses is 175 wood without upgrades coming through as you see this sprinkled emplacement coming through all of these barracks are going to be rendered useless as every single time a spearman pops out the keep's going to transition fire over to it and kill it out so just wasted resources that cyarch's using double siege workshop dropping for cyarch though he's going to probably get some uh some sprinkles out as the roost love their sprinkles don't quite have the same upgrades with the banded arms like we or uh what is it is it banded arms like we used to um but still is uh is a quite quite heavy civilization as far as siege goes double trebuchet is coming out first so wants to start firing down upon the forward keep that don Arty has placed the villager count difference will allow cyart to mass up more and more of a military but again he's throwing away a lot of his military units that are popping out as a lot of these spearmen just immediately get taken down by the keep right as they pop out Don about to have enough to drop the next keep but the problem for him is where's the next keep going to drop he needs to actually start denying some resources I guess he could try to get it front and forward as close to the golden gate as close to that town center as possible Don's keep starting to be sieged down there we go don drops it exactly where i was mentioning but cyark has moved out heavily hasn't taken any pressure securing up an additional relic transitioning into farms whereas he doesn't really even need to transition into farms as he still is on a lot of this shoreline fish which is the fastest food gathering in the game it's double trebuchet versus triple trebuchet don's keep should start going down quite fast Whoa. keep not quite in range of some of those vills on top of the original town center but his original keep for don is getting taken down which means all of these stables no longer will have that 25 percent cost reduction don potentially needs to start getting out some sprinkles himself or think about of a way well he can't even get on top of this trebuchet because of the wall up up in front of it trebuchets transitioning focus onto the next keep and the trebuchets for cyark are trying to transition focus onto the keep as well cyark already has four sprinkles out or on the way out the royal knights they're just gonna burn through the wall they're just gonna go to try to dive down on top of the trebuchets wall gets taken down the main military mass is trying to stop the knights from getting on through looks like they're doing a decent job for the time being there's crossbows in the background but the main spears have gotten cleared out the knights should just be able to make turn focus and take down all of the siege this could just be the fight that don needs but don needs to make sure protect his keep he does not keep his allow his keep to stay alive but does take down every single trebuchet is on top of those sprinkles archers are even focusing down the crossbow so a huge fight a huge win for don arty the three trebuchets are able to stay alive and where did cyark's army just go it just all disappeared it seemed like manganel pops out and manganel immediately should get focused down by those royal knights also <gasps> Villagers for Don Arty, they're all on pocket eco. He doesn't have any farms that he's transitioned into. So this is a, uh, a shorter term push that this can end up being. It's 111 to 137. So Cyarch still has a significant advantage. Has not been able to secure up a couple of those relics, I don't believe. Unless he is dropped. Yeah, one, one got killed right in front of the town center by that forward keep. Cyark finally able to breathe again as he has cleared up some of those royal knight and forced Don to fall back. <clears throat> Cyark sees the villagers on this shoreline fish, gets a spring on emplacement upgrade on his uh, wooden fortresses, so should start potentially getting taken down some of these villagers. Nope, they're taking down the mill. <clears throat> 
I wouldn't be surprised to see Cyarc send some knights over to attempt to do some raiding on those shoreline fish, but instead looks to just be rebuilding front and forward, trying to remass back up. He has the eco. He's about to be at max population, floating 2,500 wood, whereas Don over here is not at max population. He's at 161 and doesn't quite have, uh, have the amount of resources in the bank like Cyarc does. His front production is definitely very, very vulnerable as well because all of the keeps have been taken out. Triple trebuchet moving forward, spearmen, crossbows moving forward, but they're clearly all queued up in the same hotkey or same grouping because those infantry units were moving quite, quite slow. Four trebuchets moving over to these massive villagers on the stone. They might just jump inside these wooden fortresses, but at the same time, Cyark is not moving towards that way. So a lot of vills that could be vulnerable. Don's moving forward with his vills. What's he doing? He's going for another keep himself, it looks like. But all of these vills, they're going down in the middle of these wooden fortresses. What is he doing? No! Don! Stop! No! What are you doing? Not only is he throwing away military, he's throwing away villagers. He's behind in villagers a lot. He's throwing away so much right now. Like, yes, he might be able to kill all of these villagers once they pop out, but at the same time, look, all of the units for Cyark are moving forward. The Springles are moving forward as well. Crossbows able to fire down onto, onto the uh, veteran Royal Knights with Royal Bloodline. Spears trying to do the best they can. The keep goes up. And the villagers for Cyark need to start falling back as well, but all of the trebuchets look to start being taken down. Springle Mass are, is in a vulnerable spot now. The, the whole entire mass for Cyark looks like it is starting to be cleaned up. He did not get enough military units there to protect on up. Needs to fall back. Didn't have the units there, so I thought it looked super bad for Don, but instead, Cyark, he was going up with Imperial Age. High Armory finishes, has Triple Siege Workshop behind that, and can start getting bombard emplacements, can get these Imperial Age upgrades. The first thing he's getting is transitioning on the... Oh, that's Don. Don's transitioning on the Horsemen. Strelsi are being the focus. Don secures up the sacred site, might start <laughs> capturing up that next sacred site to start ticking that down and being a win condition in the long term. He's secured up two relics for himself. Cyark has finally gotten all three in, um, in his Abbey of the Trinity, has a good amount of farms behind this, and Don has also made the transition on the farms. Cyark, though, has 3,000 wood in the bank. I think he needs to transition heavier onto farms or just get a mass amount of siege out, but doesn't have the gold to, uh, to get siege out. Zero tickets in the bank. Needs to drop an actual market to trade off some of this wood that he has. Wooden Fortress is doing an okay job stalling up the knights for the time being. What up, Snoopa? Thank you for the raid. We're on game number three of Don versus Cyark right now. How were, uh, how were your team games? Thank you for the follow. So Don has been able to stay mass back up, but the problem for him is he has committed with that Royal Institute. He Normally that means you want to finish this game in Castle Age. He's been that town center behind where, and uh, well, finally he has taken the population count lead, but that is because of the Imperial Age out of Cyart. What up, veggie? <laughs> As usual. see if any upgrades have come out of the high armor yet none at all manganels is the choice i guess because of uh, the 30 archers on the opposite side and don already behind this is starting to build up his own walls realizes that he needs defenses so getting some stone walls out on the map but the stone walls won't matter too much if uh if Cyark actually gets the siege ball like we typically see from roos The sacred sites are counting down villagers moving forward to build some walls, but they're about to run into some keep fire in just a few seconds. 
22 veteran royal knights moving on forward towards the front of the base of Cyark. Remember, he's massing up spears, but the spears are quite out of position, starting to mass up in that northern side. So this wall could just be burned down quite fast if there's not a quick reaction by Cyarg. And then the Royal Knights are going to be on top of all of the economy. Imperial Age, able to come out for Don Arty. College of Artillery on its way. As I mentioned, though, 22 knights about to come in through the economy, and there are not enough spearmen there. Spearmen trying to run back, but that's the same amount of spearmen as the amount of knights that are coming through on the economy. And not only is it knights, it's 30 archers as well. And Cyrus did not pull all of his army back. All of his army was out to, out together, and he is about to have his whole entire eco idled right now. Knights running in on the backside. Luckily, it doesn't look like they have found too much damage. Spears doing a decent job clearing out some of the straggler knights. 37 archers on top of the farms, but need to watch out for the mangonels that should be coming front and forward. Two trebuchets firing down upon the golden gate. Villagers on the backside still getting crushed. Spears getting focused down by the archers and Don just allowing his archers to sit in the middle of the farms because he is most likely making a transition, which he is to hand cannoneers, getting elite royal knights as well. So going to be even harder to take these down. Golden Gate falls and Don is making this huge timing push through that front side. After the Golden Gate goes down, focusing fire onto the main town. Well, actually, he's focusing on top of some barracks, but could focus on the main town center. Strelsey trying to fire down on the backside. Are the Strelsey going to be enough to clear down these Royal Knights? Sire trying to kite them back, trying to let the town center fire down and help him out as well. But does he have enough here? Three Manganels finally getting in to help them with the mix a little bit, which looks like a lot of the Royal Knights do get cleared up. Don Arnie needs to fall back a little bit as his main mass has gotten cleared. It's 134 and 20 for Don. It's 117, 62 for Sire. So Sire has a significant military count, significant military lead. Villagers moving forward, looking like they're gonna run, try to torch down the trebuchet. That's at one health. A couple of the vills might go down, but I would call that a successful trip as they have taken down that main trebuchet that was firing down on the keep, and the additional keep is going down on the eastern sacred site. Don is going for the sacred site victory. This has been counting down for a little bit of time now. Culverin into the mix so that Culverin's going to be able to start sniping down that siege on the opposite side. The problem isn't the siege that I'm worried about for Don now. It's going to be that Strelsey number that can start building up. The Strelsey can shred anything and everything in their path. Next keep comes down on the Eastern Sacred Site. Next keep comes down on the Western Sacred Site. Don is going all in for a Sacred Site victory against the Roos. Will he have enough time for this? Will the siege start coming out for the Roos to actually take down some of this infrastructure? Culverin's, one Culverin is out. Spears doing a decent job. Do, get a nice, good brace there. And Cyart needs to stop kiting back with the Strelsey because they have this static deployment where if they remain stationary, they start stacking up this damage and attack speed. But instead, he's kiting them back, so they're not doing as much damage. Culverin was able to take down multiple of those Manganels. Outpost trying to be built first. Bombard comes out on its way, but that's not only what he has. It's triple trebuchet, so knows that he needs to start taking down some of these keeps. I'm not sure exactly what the timing is, but I'd say it's about four minutes or so left. Uh, an additional keep moving on forward, but problem... Uh-oh, Don... Oh, it's just on the keep. It wasn't on the vills. Manganel moving forward. 
Strelsey starting to fire down upon the Vils. Will the Manganel now get there in time? It doesn't look like it will as the Culverin's starting to move forward as well. So the third keep goes up. Both Sacred Sites have multiple keeps on top of it. All Don really needs to do is start massing up Culverin's, massing up his Knights like he already has, and just make sure to take down any of the Siege on the opposite side. There's not too much time that's going to be left for Cyart. He had the nice third TC play that was secret that, uh, that definitely paid itself off, but he has been losing fight after fight, and Don has started to snowball this into a sacred site victory. Triple trebuchets starting to fire down on the keep. Don moving forward to start to heal that up, which caused Stone to heal now. You can't forget. Knights moving forward. The bomber is the bomber isn't even helping into the mix. Decides not to even risk himself. Knights burning down some of the wooden fortresses that are moving forward. Hand cannoneers moving forward as well. Trebuchet's doing a good job. Don massing up a ton of stone though is able to heal that up. But will he be able to out heal all the siege mass that's coming out? Hand cannoneers firing on the backside. Strelsey finally not moving, not kiting, so they're able to get that static deployment. <clears throat> Never mind. A couple of the knights push through trying to get on top of the trebuchets. There's not too many of the knights, but look like they're going to be able to at least get one of the trebuchets. They're on top of the next trebuchet. Get that two of the trebuchets go down. Only one left. Bombard and trebuchet are left on the opposite side, but more importantly, Don still has his culverin to move forward and snipe down some of those opposing units. Healing up the keep, doing a good job. More trebuchets, t double trebuchets still in the, into the mix. Look at how many resources Cyark has out on the field right now, but is it going to be enough? He's just starting to throw everything away. I don't know how he's not at max population. Manganel goes down. The double culverins are doing exactly what I was talking about. Just make sure to kill down any siege. Two minutes until Sacred Sight defeat. There is not much time left, and Don Artie is full invested into this Sacred Sight victory. Starting to run out of stone though. I don't believe Don already has any more stone. So this is the opportunity finally for Cyark to start getting that advantage, but needed a little bit more siege earlier on. If he had had one more trebuchet out early, I think it might've just been enough to, to be the difference. But now this just could be a little late. A minute and a half until Sacred Sight victory and still two additional keeps to take down. Not only is it two additional keeps, there's two bombard and placed outposts. Everything is looking really good and Don is doing a vill pull, making sure that anything is every, this is a, this is a full commit for Don Artie right now. He's done the vill pull. He's making sure everything's on top of the Sacred Sight. There's one minute left. He says, I need no more resources. This is a now or never thing. Four trebuchets starting to fire down. Don has a little bit of stone, traded in for that stone, but the keep is on fire. The military units need to move forward. They need to start attacking. There's not much time left for Cyart. He's building his own keep himself, but is it gonna come down in time? The keep's still being rebuilt. Don in the north side, he's got 56 villagers, ab about 50, yep, 56 villagers on each side, we'll just call it. 30 seconds for Cyark. He's taken down one of the keeps, but there's still two bombard emplacements. There's still culverins. The trebuchets need to move forward. He's diving down. He sees all the villagers. He probably knows what's going on now, but is it going to be enough? The time's still counting down. There's not much time left trying to get forward, trying to clear everything out that he can. Don has a good amount of villagers here. He's still on top of it and it's over. Don gets the victory. He takes control of the sacred site and sweeps Cyark 3-0.